Welcome to Robin's Roost. I'm Robin Rassett, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Minnesota. So today I want to share with you a card that I cased from a fellow demonstrator, um, Brian King. One of our few uh, male demonstrators, actually. And the card was similar to this. I, I think maybe different colors, um, but the basic layout was the same. So he was using um, scraps, right? use up those scraps you know you end up with those half inch quarter inch three quarter inch scraps when you cut um, your designer series paper so i thought it was really cool the way he put the scraps on a piece of black paper and then um, die cut them into shape into the circle shape you know and and put the silhouettes on them so it's like a like a sunset silhouette um so let's flip the camera and i'll show you some of the crazy ideas that i came up with for this card, I am going to be using the On the Ocean stamp set and dies. So I'll just show you quickly these dies. And I'm going to be using just the um, sails and, and the boat part. So I've, I've die cut those already out of black. So you want... Um, an image that's that's kind of bold and just an outline like it can be a shadow so then I have a piece of three by five inch black that I'm going to be putting my um, my strips on and the strips for this card are half inch by three or you know they're scraps and when I'm done putting all my pieces on I'm going to be cutting out um, my strips with one of the nested essentials dies so you can use any shape of die. Just remember to cut your, um, your black piece maybe a half inch bigger so you have a little bit of wiggle room to um, play with. So we're just going to, I'll see if I can remember what colors I have on here. Now I just pulled out a whole bunch of scraps and started. So no promises that I'll have these right. So we've got blueberry bushel. And you can put these as far, well, you know, we should probably put the first one pretty close. You can space these as much as you want. I'll show you some that I've done differently um, at the end here. And I don't, um, oh, I should put that on the other side. I do not uh, measure, I just kind of eyeball it. This one is... Um, Shaded Spruce, Misty Moonlight, Orchid Oasis, Lost Lagoon. It's, it's probably best if you have them cut the width of your thing so that you don't um, do like I just did and put glue on the edges that are going to hit your um, protector sheet. Um, Highland Heather. You guys can tell me if I'm getting these colors wrong because I can never remember. And then we've got my out of pieces. Hmm. Might have to go find another color yet. Um, let's see. Bubble Bath. I'm not usually a pink girl, but I love bubble bath. And petal pink. So I've got my basket here of um, colors, and it should be really light, but well. Okay, we'll go with this one, and I think that this is moody mauve. So here we have our die cut piece that our ship is going to sit on. And I won't glue it together just yet because we don't know. I might want it up, down, who knows. And then I have pulled in two different card bases because I'm not sure which one I want to use yet. So I've got the um, blueberry bushel and a piece of basic white. So we could just put it on 
basic white. I also have a piece of Knight of Navy that has been embossed with Painted Textures 3D embossing folder, which could give it kind of a dark and stormy look. Actually, I think I like that on the white. So we'll go with the white, and now we just have to um, adhere everything together. I'm not going to put any ribbon on this one, because it's kind of more of a guy card, and I think a uh, ribbon more for girls. Doesn't that look pretty when you have all the, um, all the colors like that? Okay, now our ship. We're going to probably put a birthday greeting across the bottom. So let's keep it up a little bit. Maybe we should do our greeting first so we know exactly where it needs to go. Okay, so we've got the, um, let's do this hoping this year is full of adventure and excitement. Here it is. I knew I had it out somewhere. Yes, and I think we want that on, oops, on a piece of white. So we'll do this in Knight of Navy. Nice dark blue. It's almost, sometimes it almost looks black. Let's see. Do we want the strip? Let's just stamp this so it would be in the middle of here. Oh, I forgot. This stamp is mounted crooked. So I need to tip it down. I hate when that happens. Just tip it down just a hair. There we go. I'm going to go cut this to, um, to four inches and as tight as I can for the words. So it ended up being a half inch by four inches. We're going to put this on here so that just a little bit of the our, our piece shows up underneath. And let's maybe pop it up with dimensionals so it sits over top of that. And then let's pull in our silicone sheet again. I like using my silicone sheet to keep my um, workspace non-sticky. Mm, I think I want this in front. Note to sell should put the um, sails down first. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? Just using scraps. So this card was made with half inch scraps, right? And let me show you um, some other ones that I've made. This, this was so much fun, I just went nuts on it. So we had the one that, that I showed you to begin with. Um, this is the one that I cased, right, from Brian King. And I pulled in the, the raindrops um, embossing folder for the back. It was cut with a Stylus Shapes die for the circle. And then the birds are from the Waves die set. I did another one using the um, On the Ocean. And the On the Ocean set has a stamp, right? And then you can cut out the ship stamp, or it has the dies where you can do the ship with the dies. I think I like, oh, excuse me. I think I like the, the dies best for this black shadowy look. It doesn't quite give you the detail on this one. It's a little bit harder to make out what it is. But for this one, I also wanted to point out, I screwed up and when I die cut, I didn't quite get my circle round. So what I did is I took the next smaller circle die and cut it out and then put it one way and used the other one as a frame because my ship was a little bit longer. I pulled it down and then it covered the spot where I had a flat spot, right? So 
it just you can kind of you know sometimes you can use pieces that you screw up on too right now there's something else I wanted to mention what was it hmm maybe it'll come to me later so these oh I know what it was so when you're cutting your black um, your black base that you're going to glue these onto make sure you give yourself probably a half inch extra a quarter for sure I did not give myself enough extra on this one so then I also wanted to make like a really simple one and this one is just a white card base I did the the rainbow colors you know the red orange yellow blue green violet and and then just put a little happy birthday from the very best occasions this shape is this banner is from the nested shapes and I did no um, no embossing on this one then I did one using the um, the grassy grove um, stamp set or no not the stamp set I'm sorry the grassy grove no grove dies I'll get the name right and the fern embossing folder so the trees and the deer are from the um, from this die set and then the stamp that I used was from the charming sentiments and it has the silhouette dies that cut them out sentiment silhouettes get the name right so for this one I don't know if you can see I tried a little different technique I started with these are quarter inch strips on this one and I started with them very close together so you didn't see much black and then I spaced them wider apart as I went up to the top so just a different look and then my last one this one I actually used a bunch of retired stuff on it so um, I did use the charming sentiments stamp set and the and the sentiment silhouette dies I believe that this um, oh I'm trying to think do I have the name on here star crossed okay this star crossed embossing folder is still in the retired um, I'm sorry clearance rack I hope and then this sweet and sassy frameless dies is very very old but I really liked it and I don't know why but when I saw the star crossed I just thought star crossed lovers so if you had a friend who was having some relationship problems and you know things are getting better maybe this would be a great card so this one I did the hearts the two black ones and then I did my um, my colored panel all in in reds and I actually started with um, copper real red uh, poppy sweet sorbet now it's either melon melon mambo maybe um, berry Ooh, Moody Mauve. No, I, I'm, I'm lost on these one. Petal Pink. No, it's not Petal Pink. Maybe a Bubble Bath. So, I, you know, I just threw all my little um, half inch and quarter inch strips into a basket and then started arranging what I wanted. So, so just showing you that you can use this technique with lots of different, um, different dyes, different colors. You know use different shapes I just thought it was so super fun I went kind of wild on it and uh, my poor my poor horse this morning I usually let him out like oh maybe an hour and a half ago um, and I got so into this that the poor boy is still waiting to go out so um, I was trying to get these so you could see them all so hope you enjoyed this and thanks for stopping by at the roost if you need any supplies I would love to um, and feel honored if you would Click on the link below and shop on my store. Have a great day.